What's the origin of Arabic numerals? So many mistaken people think these are Latin digits and these ones are Arabic. But in reality, these are Arabic numerals and these are Indian. Arabic numerals have been invented by a Muslim genius, a well-known scientist who was brilliant in many scientific fields. Please allow me to start by explaining the unique logic he used to imagine his numerals. After that, we will discover this man's identity and history. How did Al Khawarizmi invent his digits? Please have a look at this number one and count down the number of angles it contains. Only one. Sure. Let's go ahead and take number two. But be careful, this is the original number two. It's exactly like a capital Z or a Z. How many angles can you see? The first one and the second one. That's all. Two angles for the number two. Let's examine together the geometry of digit three. You have here two angles heading to the left, while another one to the right. That makes three angles. Amazing, isn't it? If you write down the number four this way, it will certainly obey to the same law. A first angle, a second one, three and four. Excellent. Let me take number five. How many angles do we have here? One, two, three, four, and five. Good accounts make good friends. Following numeral is six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Would you like to check this hypothesis again with number eight? Go on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. What's left now? Nine and zero, which is a little bit special. So here's nine. Though it's slightly different from the nine we use nowadays, let's count its angles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the ninth and last angle. And here is zero. How many angles? No angles at all. What did Al Khawarizmi do to deal with this unique numeral? He chose this oval shape since he has no angle to display. This man's intelligence doesn't need to be proven. A last question. Who is Al Khawarizmi? Al Khawarizmi. Al Khawarizmi or Abu Jafar. His full name was Abu Abdullah Muhammad ibn Musa Al Khawarizmi. I am used to display photos of persons I'm talking about in my videos, but for this one in particular, things would be different. Why? Photography was invented centuries after Al Khawarizmi's death. So, what I'm showing you here is just paintings done by artists who lived with him. 
They call him Al Khawarizmi because he came from Khawarizm, which is located in Khorasan, Khorasan in Uzbekistan. Let's use Google Maps to see where it is exactly. He was born in 781. Frankly, this date is not certain. He was a Muslim mathematician, astrologist and geographer. He was the founder of algebra science and one of the most Muslim mathematicians. His writings helped mathematicians to progress in his era. As he won the trust of Abbasid Caliph Al-Mamun, who was Harun Rashid's son, he could have access to Bayt al-Hikmah, House of Wisdom, in Baghdad. The Caliph put him in charge of making the world map. This task gave him control over 70 other geographers. He produced too many works having to do with mathematics, astrology and geography. The most important of his books was the compendious book on calculation by completion and balancing. For those amongst you who like maths, this book is downloadable for free on many websites. In this book, he invented the first systematic solution for quadratic equations by completing the square. The book has been translated to Latin in 1145 by researcher Robert of Chester. This way, new notions were introduced into Latin languages like algebra and zero. In English, the word algorithm and algorithm came from algorithmi, that are the Latin pronunciation of al -khawarizmi. The two words mean digit or numeral. At the end of this video, I wish you enjoyed it by learning something new. Please support this channel, like, comment, subscribe, activate notification bell and share video links with all of your friends. Thank, Thank you. you very much. You're watching Fagu's channel. If you're interested in our content, please like and comment. You're welcome to subscribe. Please don't forget to activate the notification bell to be the first to get our coming videos.